Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 13th of January, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of St. Hilary of Poitiers. St. Hilary of Poitiers hailed from a noble Gallo-Roman family. The family living in Poitiers, then an important city in the western part of France. His parents, both pagans, received a lot of accolades from people and they had the glory of the world and they also wanted their child to receive the same. Henceforth, they made the child to be well versed in all the sciences of the world as the parents of the today would do. They would want all their children to be toppers in the education of the world, in the sciences of the world. The same thing the parents of St. Hilary of Poitiers did. Later, he started reading Christian scriptures. The conception of God, the conception of truth made him to change his mind and seek baptism. The conversion of this man happened around, he was the age 30 huge stature, naturally aroused interest of people who saw a person so zealously in faith. Later, he was made the Bishop of Poitiers. The Church of Poitiers at that time was under the devastating influence of the Arius, Arian heresy. The Arian heresy, as we already know, is of that wrong thought that Jesus was not God but man alone. His influence was so huge that the Arians were afraid of him. Recognized as one of the most outstanding and intrepid defenders of faith, Hilary used his three years exile which he got to learn Greek fathers and to write his Theses on the Trinity. The Emperor, who was Arian himself, caused a lot of trouble to Saint Hilary. But this did not stop the Saint. Hilary died in the year 368 and was proclaimed the doctor of the church. He was someone who triumphed against the heresy, who was victorious against the lie spread across by some people. Victory belongs to the truth. Victory belongs to Christ, for Christ is the truth. People who believe in falsity will perish. Amen.